work with patients who are referred by their physicians based off of a variety of medical conditions that they may have that are under control. And if their physician believes that exercise is an intervention that can help improve their medical condition, I teach them how to exercise safely within their own limitations so that they can live a healthier life. I work with a lot of patients that have what's called metabolic syndrome, so a combination of either being overweight or obese, having diabetes, having high cholesterol levels, high blood triglyceride levels, uh, and just being generally inactive uh, in their lifestyle. I also get a lot of patients that might have cardio or pulmonary conditions, so lung issues or heart issues uh, that are under control, and then they'd be sent off to me after they've done uh, any kind of rehab for that condition. And once they're safe enough to exercise, I would help them learn how to return to regular activities so they can continue uh, improving their quality of life and improving their health. So a lot of people don't realize that exercise is really relative to yourself. So a lot of people think that you need to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. You need to maybe work out like a professional athlete or something like that just to keep yourself healthy. And a lot of times I like to teach people that it really doesn't have to be that complex. It doesn't have to necessarily be that time consuming. And ultimately, any amount of activity you can add on top of what you're already doing is gonna be beneficial. So a lot of times I work with patients not to tell them what they have to do suddenly or that there's these huge benchmarks, but within their own personal lifestyle, how can we start adding a little bit to your life and just making some small changes and gradually increasing those as time progresses until you start feeling better and getting the results that you want. So a lot of them are very surprised. It doesn't really take that much time or that much effort. It's just more about being conscious of how you're moving throughout the day and what you're doing throughout the day and just adding that little bit more activity to stuff you might already be doing or doing some more formal exercise. Uh, our goal is always that when they're coming to see myself, that by the end of their time with me, whether it's one session or meeting up for uh, continuing exercise classes after that, or maybe just more one-on-one -on -one follow ups as they exercise on their own, that ultimately they're understanding what they need to do to help manage their own personal condition and just keep themselves healthy. So if they only need to see me a few times, it might just be that. If they need a little bit more support and ongoing coaching, I might see them multiple times or several times over the span of a year uh, in a variety of ways. So uh, kinesiology is essentially, at its basic definition, the study of the human body's movement. When we start working here at the clinic, it's a little bit more about not just the movements that you're doing, but how you can look at your entire lifestyle and get more activity into your lifestyle uh, based off of whatever medical condition you have. So teaching you how to understand that medical condition, how exercise can improve that medical condition, and then how I can help you make those changes and start supporting as you add those into your lifestyle. I always start one-on-one -on -one with patients. Uh, we have a variety of educational classes that might be um, interesting to the patients, so we'd get them signed up for those types of classes if they like. We also do group exercise classes that are supervised here at the clinic. So that is in a group setting of up to eight patients as well. Uh, and that's how I can work with patients a little bit more ongoing. If they need a little bit more ongoing support and ongoing coaching from myself, I can see them very regularly on a weekly basis for a while in that regard. Uh, and then eventually transitioning into them exercising on their own outside of the clinic or maybe I'm just following up with them one-on-one -on -one every so often uh, to see how they're doing until eventually they're hopefully feeling confident they can sustain these changes on their own and they can contact me again in the future if they have any issues but from there that they're essentially just able to do it on their own.